There it uh, is! There it is! Oh, oh drone shot. Sorry, Boris. It's, this is Apple event. Take one. He doesn't like it. It's the only take we get. He doesn't like it. I'm sorry, Boris. Okay, that is heavy, but we are shooting for the Apple event. How we feeling, everybody? Good morning. We're so glad you could join us. Bring it up a There's little. another and bingo. Apple, we're fortunate to be surrounded by people who mm, strive to innovate together. All right, so last second predictions, we have these green badges and green lanyards, and I feel like the year that we had a sapphire blue one, we got a blue iPhone 13 Pro, so green iPhone 14 Pro is my prediction. Marquez took my prediction, the green iPhone, but I just want to say, if you go back like three waveform episodes, we said we thought it was going to green, be green because it went blue, green, blue, and then this year would be green. So I'm really hoping this is true. If I had to do one more prediction, I'm going to guess Apple Watch Pro under 1,000, even though everybody seems to be thinking it's 1,000, um, because I think 1,000 is a ridiculous number. So, uh, when has that ever stopped them? I think the far out thing is going to be about satellite connectivity and not actually about astro mode or a telephoto. I think That's I was, a hot take. Maybe, I don't know. T-Mobile launched their satellite connectivity like a couple weeks ago, so I see that being a thing. I think it's all going to be the same. Nothing's going to change. What? It's all going to be the same. There will be at least one phone. That's all I know. Boris, what you got for us? What do you oh. think? Do you even know what Apple is? We're going to get some stuff in tech with an <laughs> Apple logo. Confirmed. Right, we're in Steve Jobs' theater right now, and... Um, Marquez is having a hard time with the Wi-Fi, which I think is hilarious because he's using his MacBook and I'm using my Surface laptop and I'm getting speeds. You see Marquez isn't even able to load pages here. Oh. Okay, that's better. There we go. I still think that. confirmed Windows is better than Mac, even in their own theater. This one never do. Wow. I brought the real thing at the event. The real. The real deal? Yeah, she can't talk. How many iPhones are in there? None. Dude, That's it's what crazy. Makes it special. This is how Apple delivered us the iPhone 14 to review <laughs> in a pizza box. You have to eat through the it's pizza. It's discreet. Damn. Oh, look at that. Sorry, it is kind of interesting that it feels like, I guess Apple's been doing this for years, but they're sort of filling the hole that Bell Labs left when they got broken up as far as being like a massive holder of knowledge yeah. that they can turn into lots of products. Because like, we were researching vehicle crashes. Like, I bet you were, you want to be car company. Yeah. How much do you think the watch would be? Well, how much is the regular? 399 is my guess. How much? I'm guessing 399 for the 44 millimeter. Right? I would say 450. Oh, is that cheap? Is that considered I think cheap? That's cheap 449 yeah. maybe? Yeah, I would say 450. Are, like they different, are they different prices for the 42 and 44 millimeter? Yeah. Oh, I was right. 399. Wow. Yeah. Nice job, dude. Thank you. 399 is not a bad price. How much uh, do we think the SE is going to cost? 299. 249, 299. 279. 279. The most I'd pay is 50 dollars. 249. I was right about this one too. Still no finish on trip challenges though. Oh, this is, they're gonna do pro now. Here we go. So we gotta, we gotta focus on this. Ooh. Oh, they're going with the flat screen. Whoa. Dude. Yo. Yo, this ad is pretty Ooh. sick. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Whoa, what? What was that? Red light? Red only mode. That was like Darth this Vader mode. Is Apple Watch Ultra? Ultra. 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 Yo, that is. As someone who likes big, chunky survival watches, I'm about it. I know Adam is super hyped about this right now at home. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna say $800. I guess. $729. $699. Wait. <laughs> $5,000. Dude, that Minimum. watch face is gorgeous. Yo. Whoa, that's this cool. Watch face is 
fire. What is Garmin gonna have left? Bro, waypoints? Are you yeah. joking? I'm guessing $7.99 for this, by the way. My older brother and my dad are both scuba divers. They're recreational, but they go pretty deep. I don't think this thing would handle it. Just like the iPad mini kind of totally replaced aviation computers, I could very much see this replacing diving, yeah. diving yeah. watches. So, depending on how deep they're going, but like, I'm very interested to see if that actually happens. And I think that we should try to get an actual diver on like the podcast or something to see if they could talk about it. Oh, oh, oh and AirPods Pro too. There have been have there, that on th here? No, there have been no leaks. Apple makes exceptional audio products, but I wish they would make audio products and then explain even a little bit how they work. You know what I mean? Instead of just being like, they're great. Like, what do the vents do? Are they base reflex ports or are they, like, what's going on there? Lightning? Oh my. Just give us USB C. Whoa, it's a phone. Wow, it's the same. Another one. Oh my god, it looks the same. See this? This is the greatest color Apple's ever made an iPhone in. And they're bringing it back, baby, or at least something similar. They, they're just rebranding re the 13 as the 14. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. What? Satellite? Oh. David, you might be totally spot on. Here we go. Intensifies. Yeah. I'm right about everything all the time. <laughs> How does it know where the satellite... It's like that star tracking thing, because right. the, the Space Force always knows exactly where all the satellites are at all given times. Sure. Yeah. But she was pretty open. Like if you I have half a water bottle left. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. Yo, that... Okay, that's cool. Yo. Oh, that is so Wait, cool. Oh, that is so cool. Oh wow, oh, that's hella smart. Dude. That is hella smart. I'm kind of sad about that. Well, the UI around the pill is to make people very... I think it looks kind of crazy for that, yeah. Dynamic Island? That's what it's called. Okay, Apple. It's gonna start at a thousand. I think, isn't it supposed to go up? Yeah, but my guess is it's 10.99 um, yeah, for the baseline. Yeah, I, I think so too. Do you no, think no, the, 10.99 for the, the smallest pro. Do you think the base storage will be 256? Yeah. It's time to make a TikTok in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the, the photos of, of people using the Face ID yeah, camera? Yeah, with the dot projection on their face. It's so it's freaky. crazy. It also now, iOS 16 lets you do Face ID sideways as yeah. well. Yeah. Can you not do Face ID sideways now? Nope. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. All right, everyone's favorite part. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes, Severance Season 2. Yes! Hey! That show is so awesome! Yeah, Boris, like I, what was, what was your favorite part of the event? Is that what's called Dynamic Island? Yeah. The return of iPhone Purple is my favorite part hey. of the event. So, David, um, the dynamic island is really, really cool. Yeah. You're an island boy. I'm an island boy. I think that it's basically like the second display on the LG V10, except that it's like built into the phone. And it's really smart of them to use that cutout as a second like little notification panel. The dynamic island is interesting. It is. I think it's a good use of space, but I honestly. I don't know why it doesn't just take up the whole top bar. Like, why not just redesign the whole like notification top bar as a whole instead of just like a tiny subsection of it? I thought the Apple Watch Ultra was gorgeous. Like the watch oh, yeah. period was gorgeous. The faces were gorgeous. The bands and then obviously Dynamic Island wins. But I was very impressed with the watches. Tim, where did you get that shirt, by the way? I got it from this great site called shop.mkbhd.com. The same site where Boris's beautiful collar comes from. Oh, look at that collar. So um, I was gonna say my favorite thing announced was the Watch Ultra, which is still probably my favorite piece of hardware. But the more I played with it, the more I, uh, I'm actually swayed a little bit. My favorite thing now is, as cringy as the name is, the Dynamic Island little animations and things where it shows you ongoing tasks, live activities, and also is low-key kind of like a little multitasking quick switch type of thing. 
Uh, I'm gonna play with it more, and it'll be shown in the full hands-on video on the main channel, but yeah, Dynamic Island, who would've thought? All right, cool. Um, What's your favorite? Dynamic Island is really cool. I did also like how everyone kind of laughed when the name came out because it was a strange name. But hey, no one else is naming their whole bunch cutouts, so I guess Apple's nailing it. Um, Watch Ultra's really cool. Glad it's under $1,000. Loki, I think my favorite thing is one of the Watch Ultra straps. I forget which one is for. I think it was their running one, but it's elastic Velcro and has no hard parts that can bang into anything. So like, that's what I always look for in a watch fan, and I actually think that was my favorite thing of the event. I think you can get it for any watch. I think so. So you don't have to spend the $800 on the Ultra watch. The sizing to get the might new be band. a little weird, but like right. not flush. Yeah. Maybe not flush, but I still think it would happen. But uh, yeah, full. All our thoughts will be on the podcast for recording later. So sub over there, but send them over to the studio. All right, go watch the Apple recap on Marquez's channel. Uh, and if you want to talk to us about the Apple event on Discord, we'll be around. So join the Discord linked down below. Thanks for watching. And Boris, sign us off. Good job. Great job. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>